This is Alan K, the VHS guy, and it's time for a VHS update for November 19th, 2016. Let's start off with the 1990 VHS of Johnny Quest, Terror of the Terrible, and this is from Hanna-Barbera Home Video. This is part of the original Johnny Quest series, of course. Running time for this tape is 50 minutes, 30 minutes, excuse me, so a half hour. Fairwort, 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 this is an Avon copy, December 14th, 1993, so printed 11 days before Christmas that year, and it's an EP mode, and next up is the 1989 VHS of The Martian Chronicles, The Settler, with Rock Hudson, Ronnie McDowell, and Darren McGavin, and this is volume 3, does the Red Planet hold the secret man to mankind's survival, and this is a 1989 film as well, Part of the Freeze Classic Collection. Running time is 97 minutes. And this is based off the novel by Ray Bradbury. I'm going to hopefully look for the other two volumes sometime. And next up is the 1991 VHS of Flash Gordon Conquers the Universe. With... Larry Crabb as Fresh Flash Gordon, part of the classic classic cliffhanger collection. And this is a 1940 film serial, and total running time is 220 minutes. I do have a couple other film serials from the, from, that are from the 40s. And next up is the 1993 VHS of George Carwin doing it doing it again. And this is a 1990 program. Obviously starting to wait George Carwin. Running time is 59 minutes, so it's almost an hour. And this is quite rare, so I just had to get it. I'm going to definitely give this a watch some time. Columbia tries to home entertainment reprint. Print, print on the 8th week of 2002. So I believe this will still have the Columbia Tristar Home Video logo. And next up is the 1993 VHS of Buck Rogers in the 25th Century, The Guardians, with Giff Garrard and Aaron Gray. And this is a 1981 episode of the TV series. And this is from MCA Universal Home Video. And it's still sealed. Running time is 47 minutes, and this is quite a rare one, so I just had to pick it up. <clears throat> and next up is the 1988 VHS of The Bat People, which is a 1974 film. Part human, part bat. Unspeakable horror becomes inescapable terror. This is from HBO Video. Unfortunately, the front cover is faded. And this is rated PG. And it's 95 minutes. And this stars Stuart Moss and Maureen McAndrew. This is another difficult one that I just had to pick up. Put it on May 30th, 1988 and June 6th, 1988. And this was a former rental from an unknown video store. And next up is the 1990 VHS of The Twilight Zone, Volume 1, which has two episodes, which are The Invaders and Nothing in the Dark. And this is from the original TV series, of course, which I do enjoy this show, as, as, you, as you know. The Invaders aired on... January 27th, 1961, and Nothing in the Dark aired on January 5th, 1962, and this is 50 minutes long. I do know Fisher Rachel has this as, as well. March 15th, 1990, so printed a day before, before Fisher Rachel's copy. 
And next up is the 1996 VHS, The First Spaceship on Venus, which is a 1959 film. Part of the Diamond Awards series collection. And I know this film was mocked on MST3K, which is definitely a classic show that I do enjoy as well, which I have a few DVDs of that show. And this is 78 minutes. And this film was part of the Mystery Science Theater 3000 20, 20th Anniversary DVD, which I do have. Waymos is 1994 for some reason, and this is recorded in EP mode. And next up is the 1986 VHS of Manhunter with William L. Peterson. Enter the mind of a killer, you might never return. And this is a 1986 film. From the Warrantus Entertainment Group. And this is from Carl Warmer Home Video. So this is a pretty rare tape so I just had to pick it up. And this is rated R and it is... Exactly two hours. This is another former rental but it's from an unknown video store. And next up is the 1999, the 2000 VHS of Mystery Alaska with Russell Crowe, Hank Azaria, Mary McCormick, Walida David, David Davidovich, Ron Ellard, Colin Meany, Marie Jakin, and Burt Reynolds. The Rocky of Hockey says Ted Goldenberg of Fox TV. And the Foe of Action, Suspense and Heart says Jason Miller of ABC TV. From the director of Austin Powers, who is Jay Roach. And this is a 1999 film. This is a sensational movie says Ray King of USA Today. This is rated R and it's 119 minutes. And this is a Hollywood Pictures tape. April 25th, 2000. And this is a former run of a Midtown video. And next up is the 1991 VHS of Wild at Heart with Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern, winner of Best Picture of the Cannes Film Festival of 1990, a great, rowdy, passionate love story says the late Gene Siskel of Siskel and Ebert, and this is directed by David Lynch, 1990 film, and this is a media home entertainment tape co-produced by CBS Fox Video, rated R and it's 125 minutes. February 28th, 1991, and this is a former runner from Video to Go in Lowell, Indiana. And next up is the 1994 VHS of True Romance with Chris, Kristen Swader and Patricia Arquette. Stealing, cheating, killing. Who says romance is dead? And this is the unrated director's cut, featuring footage not seen in theaters. And this is a 1993 film, co-produced by Morgan Creek, and this is another Warner Home Video cheese show tape. Dynamite, a full throttle blast of action and fireworks as Peter Travis the Rolling Stone. Four stars as Susan Vlavsina of USA Today. And Daring, Electrifying, and Original says Rex Reed of the New York Observer. And the running time is 121 minutes. And of course, this is the unrated ed edition. December 21st, 1993. It's printed four days before Christmas that year. And it is another form of rental. And next up is the 1988 VHS of Dakota with the late John Wayne. And this is a 1945 film. And heads up, the last three films are all John Wayne films in this update. Running time is 82 minutes. Of course, this is in black and white. March 15th, 1989. So printed two days before St. Patrick's Day that year. And next up is the, I believe, a mid-90s VHS of Circus World, which is a 1964 film. Big screen, big box office spectacular as Variety Magazine. I never heard of this film, but I just had to pick it up. 
Running time is 135 minutes, and this is on two tapes, which is kind of odd. Both record in EP mode, as you can see. And the last tape this update is the 1994 VHS of the John Wayne story, part of the Good Times Family Theater Collection. Wait a years, the legendary Duke at his greatest. Two visit action, interviews, rare photos, and much more. And this is a good times tape. So we all know what this has at the end. Running time is 88 minutes and recording the LP mode. Recording tab. We all know what this has at the end, and that's going to be it for this VHS update, and I'll see you later.